motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah.
Yo, how does this mic sound? I sound all right? I got a new mic. I don't know how it sounds. What's up, everybody? What's happening? How y'all doing today? Welcome to the kitchen. What's up, Ken? Thank you for the host. We in this bitch. Uh, new mic, so let me know if it's too loud, too what? You know, your boy your boy leveled up and got a, got a lapel mic. You feel me? Now I can talk nasty like this. What's up? What's up, Cole? What's happening, playboy? Cole in here, he ain't in here. What's going on? How y'all living today? Y'all doing all right? Yo, what's up? Sounds cool. Hey, man. Cole with the host. Man, listen. Hey. Big tired, bro. Like, I, I'm late because you know usually I do this a little bit earlier. The reason why I'm late, I went to the office and um, I did a few. I did like three hours overtime overtime today, so you know it kind of fucked me up. Also, it didn't help that last night. You know, last night I got a little tipsy and I ain't gonna go to bed. It's like three o'clock in the morning, so that ain't help. Podcast boy tonight. Okay. All right. So while everybody gets, while y'all get situated, I'm gonna get my stuff together. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about it once I get everything out here in the open for us. So let me go ahead and get my, get what we got, you know? But, um. Hey, what's up? What's up, Casey? What's that? Hi, I'm Casey. What's up? What's happening? Uh, how was that way? Topper, we call you Topper. I don't feel like saying that shit. Uh, we're cooking steak and potatoes today. Steak, potatoes, and asparagus. But I'm about to grab everything. How y'all doing today? Can you, what? I don't know what that means. Words are hard, y'all. I got new butter. All right, so I did, I did a bad thing, and I was supposed to take my butter out. So I come to temp, but I forgot. So we're gonna rock with this anyway. By the time we get to the butter part, the butter will be nice and soft and at room temp. So we should be all right. Um, but shit, you know. Hey, not for nothing, this lapel mic. This lapel mic ran me, you know, it was pretty cheap. And if y'all say this shit sound dope, then shit, I'm in it. I might get a second one, it's just a you know, like I'm official. You know what I'm saying? I got the little pack. I got the little pack on the back. You know what I'm saying? It's official. It's, a, it's official. Official. All right. So let's see what we got. Make sure we got everything that we need. So I can go everything. Let me use supplies real quick. My kitchen is a mess. I ain't had no time to clean today. I mean, I guess I could have cleaned up a little bit, but steak. Right here, relax, calm, calm, relax, man. Everything good time, don't rush it. You gotta take your time, you gotta ease into it. It's called foreplay. You gotta, you gotta set the mood, set the tone. You just can't rush in there and just show the steak. Nah, you gotta ease into it. Real gentle light, you feel me? Just real, just real gentle light. No, there's money. Well, I'm, I don't know why you rushing me, cause. It ain't gonna work over here. So we 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 gonna take our time. I ain't in no schedule. You know what I'm saying? We here to have fun. We relaxing. It's stress free. So if you want to cook along, you're more than welcome to. But if you're trying to cook along, I hope you're not in a rush. This is an experience, right? So let's go over everything I got real quick on the table. So I got my asparagus. I got my potatoes. Uh, what are these? These are sunrise. These are just medley potatoes. All bite size Jones that cook really fast, right? Got a shallot garlic, butter, we got some rosemary, some thyme, that shit smell good. And right here, this is it, this is the beauty right here. All right, don't need that. This is our, this is our uh, ribeye. We got a boneless ribeye. Whew, that thing looked nice. That thing looked nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, this thing look real good, too. Ooh. 
It ain't grass fed though, so I, I do feel away. I'd usually get grass fed, but that shit was small. So I actually got ended up getting two cuts. I actually got one whole cut, and it was really thick. And so I had them uh, shave it down for me, right? So it's that beautiful ribeye. Nice marble right there, nice fat. That fat cap is beautiful, right? We got nice chunks of fat here on the ends. Run those down. And like this one right here, just look, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, man. Man, Woo. I'm ready. All right, so what we're gonna do, I took these out maybe like half an hour ago, so they're still, so you can eat them on stream at the end. Bruh, oh, Hen, this, this is your first cooking stream, Hen. Bruh, what we make, we eat on camera live, so you get to see me enjoy this shit. You can't enjoy it unless you're cooking with me, but you know what I'm saying, yeah. So ideally, in the perfect world, you wanna take your steaks out an hour before you cook them so they come up to room temperature. It's a little warm in my apartment today, so it's been out for like half an hour. Reason applause first, we're gonna prep everything before you even touch, them. like get to the grill, um, to, the, to the pan. Uh, so real quick, I'm just gonna salt and pepper these really quick. Wait, first of all, first of all, hold up. I almost forgot. See, that's twice. That would have been that's the second stream. I jumped right into cooking. And I forgot the most important part, man. Hold up, let me move this up a little bit. Let me move this up. I done forgot the most important part, bro. I forgot the, I done forgot the goddamn apron. You can't be on a show without a goddamn apron. You gotta be in this bit. You gotta be a fisherman in this bit, you know? I'm actually moving the microphone. And put it on the goddamn, on the goddamn thing. There we go. Boom, look at that. Now, you know, get the, Man, my Negro, really, really, bruh. Ah. Come on, man. Why are we doing this today? Why are we doing this? Why? Why are we doing this today, man? Why I gotta be a Negro? Why I gotta be all that? Matter of fact. Say something out of pocket one more time. It's gonna be a wrap. You know what? We're not dealing with that today. You know, go ahead and just get you up out of here. Do what other one is? Go ahead and get you up out of here too. We're not about that today. Not today. You know, I tolerate that shit. Alright, cool. I thought he was gonna beat meat. Nah, 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 nah. Relax, man. Relax. So, this is my mouse pad. My mouse. All right. So, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just liberally season your steak first. So I'm gonna season it, then I'm gonna set it to the side because I gotta do all this prep work, right? So you don't like heavy. Just, you know, salt this up, you know? How y'all doing today? Oh wait, I didn't do it right. I hate Twitch, man. I hate, I just really hate Streamlabs. Hold up. How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for a minute. I just started. Hey, you know what I'm about to do? You chilling here? I got you. I'm good, man. Hey, him, you just help me out, bro. Hold on, I got you real quick, man. Hold on. What's up, queen? Hey, go ahead and clean that up for me, bro. Handle that. All right. I'm gonna salt and pepper our steaks real quick. Get 
the other side. How long you feeling today? I, you know, I'm good. I'm a little tired from last night, from the from the podcast, and then also still going to the office and whatnot. But you know, uh, you know, I'm all right. I, I can't complain too much, mainly because I'm finna fuck, I'm finna fuck these steaks up. You know what? I was only supposed to cook one of these steaks, and not both of them. Shit. Uh, anybody wanna want anybody wanna steak? Cause I ain't mean to cook both of them. Shit. Well, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna season one and just wrap the other one. Where the veal and caviar? Cabin trips. What's happening, playboy? Veal and caviar. You got veal and caviar money, my boy? I got just enough money for ribeye. Just enough. It's okay. He don't. He don't come in. He said good afternoon. He just come straight in with the with a veal and caviar. Damn, what? That boy rude. That's what he is. Yeah, man. Y'all having a good Saturday? Y'all enjoying this weather? It's hot as fuck. You feel me? It's hot as fuck. All right, so we just want to get the seasonings on the entire thing, right? Just all over. Let's get in there. Listen, you know what? So what I'm going to actually do, even though I season both of them, even though I season both of them, I'm going to just cook one of them anyway. All right, so cool, bet. That's done. We're gonna let that come to temp. Move this off our table. All right, put it over there. It's 95 in Chicago. Uh, just start selling crack today. Oh, word, that's what's up. Give you a few weeks to head check. Hey man, do what you gotta do, bro. Make that money. All right, so we're gonna work on our and plots right now. So, I wanna, so the reason why I'm doing this, if you, I mean, this anyway when you cook, you just wanna get everything ready to go. So that when you start cooking, you just bang, bang, bang. Like pops, just bang, 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 bang. And everything's good. So, I'm thirsty. Oh, okay, shit. I don't know if the temp is here in, in New York, but it's hot. It's real hot. So first we're gonna do, I'm gonna put some garlic. So, if you're cooking at home, matter of fact, anybody in chat cooking, at home, cooking along? If you, I guess I should ask that first, so I can go slow. But if you're not clicking the chat, then I guess it doesn't really matter. Hello, everybody. By the way, you little late boy. So if you're cooking in chat, what we're gonna do? If you're cooking along, just take as take as much garlic as you like. I like a lot of garlic, so uh, I can think I got four. I got five cloves here. There's a steakhouse here in New York. It's from Japan. So has anybody ever played the Yakuza series? Uh, no, I just want to watch this time. Okay, fair enough. I got you. Um, in the Yakuza series, there's a restaurant chain. I mean, because it's in Japan, but it's called Ikinara Steakhouse. And they have bomb ass steaks. This is your first cooking train? Oh, Queen, well, welcome. Welcome. We have a good time here. You know, we all about peace, love, and positivity and shit. I think I just, like, we been That's some wild shit. Wild shit. They got that Wagyu? No, I don't have Wagyu, but they have some fire ass cuts though. They don't have Wagyu. Um, they might have Wagyu in Japan, but they don't have it here. But um, but the reason I brought that up is because when they serve you their steaks, um, they serve it, they give you like thinly slices of garlic that have been deep fried. <sighs> Bro, it is an experience. Expendable one, two, three, four. Thank you for that follow. My boy puts it down. Yeah, man, I'm trying to. So I'm gonna do a little experiment today. I've never fried garlic before, and I really want to see if I can mimic or re or recreate their thinly sliced fried garlic. So give me a lot of garlic today. Got a lot of prep time, so you know, just you know, sit back, enjoy. 
And uh, I'll probably use two cloves of garlic for the thin slices, but I'm gonna slice my garlic thin anyway. Since I'm making two steaks now, I might as well. Wait, do I need all this garlic? You know what? I'll be cool, let me stop right here. If I need more garlic, I'll just break those two down. All right. So, for the fryer. And so, you know, make sure you have a very sharp knife because you want to get these as thin as possible. But you also don't want to cut yourself in the process. You feel me? You want to make them, you don't have to be paper thin. If you can get them paper thin, that's cool. Uh, you could also use a mandolin if you want, but uh, mandolin, trying to mandolay some garlic, uh, some garlic is uh, quite dangerous. Uh, let's do one more clove, and then I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna fry that up in some olive oil, and see how it comes out. But it should come out all right. Like this knife is so sharp. I was cutting garlic one day. And I slice clean through my damn finger. Clean through my finger. Do you crush it to activate the garlic to get this? Uh, not for that one, but for what I'm about for, not for the fry it, but for these I'm about to. But, uh, but yeah, so what Trips is talking, what uh, Cap Trips is talking about, are you self-taught or did you attend culinary school? Uh, I'm self-taught. I just play around in the kitchen. Um, I was a I was a I was a cook at a restaurant when I was 16 though. Um, but what 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 Captain Trips was talking about? If you smash open the garlic, it releases all this garlic. Uh, I forgot what the word is, but but yeah. It uh if you if you smash it and just let it sit there for a little bit, you get you get more benefit out of it. Uh, but since I'm gonna let this sit for a while, we get the same thing. And then my board's sliding around, so I need to fix that. All right, so boom, garlic's done. I think that's enough garlic for my potatoes. So the garlic's for the potatoes. The garlic's for the potatoes and uh, the asparagus. So, Trying to organize my board here. I'm gonna put this garlic over here in this corner. I need like little little those little glass bowls. I need to cop some of those. I'm gonna do that one. Here we go. Oh, uh, blank sliver. What's going on, man? But um, I I almost went to culinary school. And you're gonna take a shallot. And you're just gonna slide, you're gonna just dice up your shallot. Uh, you can use as much as you want. If you just want a nice little oniony flavor in here, probably use half of it. Again, this is just for the potatoes and the asparagus. It's not for the steak. The steak, I like my steaks to be as much steak as possible with a little, like the, the bare minimum seasoning. I want you to taste the steak. So, salt, pepper, and olive oil is all I have to put on my steaks, and I have not had a complaint nor should you complain about that. I mean, I baste them, I put butter and shit at the end, but for the most part, on the steak itself, it's just uh, uh, salt and pepper. Umami, um, that's not the word. Yeah, that, I mean, it adds umami, I guess, but just a nice. Just a nice little you know, flavor profile. I feel like Anything that you, like I feel like onions and garlic, salt, pepper, onions and garlic is like a staple for like flavors, like you can't go wrong. You know what I mean? That's how I feel anyway. I could be wrong. It's just like your personal preference. Nothing much, sorry I've been inactive. I was going through a bunch of, uh, bunch of camps for wrestling. Hey man, that's all good, man. Shit, get out there and wrestle, man. What's your weight class? What you hear the though? Um, I used to watch Food Wars as well. Food Wars is a dope show. So dope. All right, shallots have been cut. 
That's definitely enough. Yeah, boy. But, um, but yeah, I wanted to go to culinary school. I get distracted with you very easily, too, by the way, because I'm focused, because I don't want to cut myself. But I turned it down because they have a football team. It's a very dumb reason not to go to culinary because you just want to play football. But, you know, whatever. I, um, I like cooking shows. I grew up watching a lot of cooking shows because this was before Food Network. This is when that shit used to come on, like, TNT and TBS and PBS and all that shit. So I used to watch, uh... Who is it? Justin Wilson, the the Creole guy. I used to watch him a lot growing up. Emeril Lagasse, used to watch him. Um, Julia Childs was on a lot. So, you know. I did a lot of cooking shows. I remember um, TN, I think TBS had a special uh, where they would do dinner in a movie. And so they would cook a meal while you watch the movie and start doing the breaks they would come back and they would talk about the they would talk about the movie bam, bam. he was my guy all right so boom all right so we got smashed garlic for the butter at the end we have chopped garlic, diced garlic for potatoes. So this, these go together, right? Those go together. So they're gonna go together. Fry the garlic chips for frying. So put that there. So now it's all to clean and prep our asparagus, wash our potatoes, and then also I gotta chop up some rosemary real quick. Um, so I need to put the asparagus and potatoes somewhere because I don't have a thing for it. Be right back. Gotta love meal prep containers. They definitely did, yeah. Cut out for a minute. Is it back? We good? It's a new mic, y'all, so I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I leveled up within the play shit, so let me, re let me reposition it. If the mic cut out at any time, just let me know. If I need to, I could I could take a break and I can go get the, the Yeti and then we good. I'm gonna try something different. Also because like I feel like the Yeti, you know, we hit like because I'll 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 watch these playbacks and like the Yeti adds like a really echoey tone to it because I'm just walking around a, a mic. But does this sound better than the past streams for those that have been here before? Uh, let me know how the quality of this lapel mic is, please. So with produce, you always want to wash it, of course, but I'm actually going to figure out how much I want to make first, because this is just for me. Uh, your kitchen looks a bit different. Did you reorganize? Uh, no. Um, I have a better camera. It depends on when your last stream was. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Adult actress. What, sir? You wild, you a wild boy, man. We just trying to cook, man. Why you gotta bring porn stars into this? The truth, nasty boys. All right, so this is probably about a much asparagus for me. It's a little about a hand, about, you know, I don't know, a few grams worth. Uh, I'm gonna put the rest back in the fridge. Who is that? Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the lounge. Welcome to my. What's up, Coco? Hey. They, don't, they listen. I'm in the. Man, we just trying to cook. Y'all, wow. All right, boom. So I'm gonna give my asparagus a quick rinse in the sink. I'm gonna wrench it off. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I still talk as I walk away from the camera. Because your boy Pell leveled up. Leveled up. Leveled up. Yeah. I'm going to give you this a quick rinse. 
Yeah, you know, this is pretty cool. I forgot about this shit. I can, I can talk to y'all from over here in the sink. And it don't sound crazy. That's wild shit. With it. And I'm back. Hey. Mike cutting in and out. It's still cutting in and out? Fuck. Uh, might be the package. That's it. It might be. Hold up. Does it cut out when I walk? Like when I go that way? Hmm. That's why I look in here. They're heathens. Yeah. All right. Oh, I just seen it. I just seen it drop out. Uh, shit. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. My battery's about to die. Damn, I'm fucked up. All right, let's see. When you walk. All right, so clearly I need to buy another lapel mic because this one ain't cutting it. Aggressively? Maybe, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll rock it, man. We'll rock it. Uh, so I, like, I trim the ends off my asparagus. I do, what is that, about an inch? inch about an inch, an inch off the bottom. I don't know why I do an inch, I just do an inch. Uh -huh. Wrong emote, ignore that one. Oh, you don't love me? Why you don't love me, man? All right, so we'll work with the mic that we got and then I'll do some research and see if I can find a better one before the next one. Uh, so we'll see. Well, we will definitely figure this out together. Teamwork makes the goddamn dream work, baby. All right, I'll put it on my back pocket. Oh, you was talking to him? My bad, what shit? You know what, I'm gonna just shut up and get to cooking. I'm gonna just shut up and mind my business. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mind my goddamn business. All right, so for the potatoes, since these are really small, and again, I'm just cooking just for me, I'm only getting enough potatoes that I, that just for me, but also, since they're red and yellow potatoes, I'm gonna do this color thing to make sure I have the right, the same, the same number, because presentation, boom. So that's what, that's eight, let's go do 10, we're gonna do 10 total. I think 10's enough, right? Boom, 10. And then I'm gonna wrench these off to get off any loose debris, and then we're gonna get to cooking. miss somebody somebody was talking oh like blank silver said you wrestling at 145 this season that's nice man listen i applaud i applaud you for wrestling because i don't i couldn't i'm not wrestling man i'm not wrestling i did that shit once it's not for me okay i'm a shitty wrestler it's not for me not at all nope nope all right, so what I'm about to do now is I'm going to try to fry this garlic real quick so I can have it later. So I'm going to just get some olive oil and just put it in the pan. Damn it. Is that water or extra light lemonade? That is ice. It's called Cool Blueberry Lavender. I don't fucking know, man. So I'm not gonna put a lot of oil because you don't need a lot because it's a small bit of garlic. You just wanna put enough in there so it won't stick to the bottom of the pan and so like it'll float. So that's pretty much all the oil you need for that. And then we're gonna find it out. We're gonna, we're gonna find out and do this experiment together. You know what, it is pretty bomb. Like. I picked it up today because I had to go buy some more garlic and the garlic was like 20 cents and I felt really weird charging my card for 20 cents. And so I bought this and then I paid like a dollar 80 for both. So it's, it's pretty good, it's nice and refreshing. 
Um, it's an excellent source of C and B vitamins, antioxidant, vitamin C, vitamins B5, B6, B12, a kick of cool, and electrolytes. Hopefully the batteries don't die real quick. If they die, I have an extra set here, so. I gotta remember to watch the mic levels to know when it dies or if it dies, but. Man, do y'all like cooking? Like, what got y'all? What, what got y'all in the kitchen? Like, who inspired y'all to cook? If somebody inspired you to cook, like, what was, what was that moment when you was like, oh, I'm about to be, I'm about to be a, the the nigga in the kitchen. I'm about to fuck this shit up. Uh, I'm just get some rosemary for the potatoes for later. Uh, cause we're gonna do like a garlic herby potato and asparagus combo here. So just one. One stick, and then we're just gonna just take all the leaves off, and we're gonna dice these up really finely. Survival inspires you to cook. I mean, I guess that's that's a good way to put it. My board's slipping. I need to. Yeah, you know, we just wanna, just wanna just you know get this all nice and nice and nice and pretty, nice and fine. Just put that right there on the side. Yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Ty, what's happening? What's going on, man? Uh, Ann says, my mom, she wanted me to learn some shit so I wouldn't have to rely on a woman. All right, fair, good enough. All right, so y'all let me burn the oil. Thanks a lot, guys, for letting me know the, the oil was burning. So I'm gonna just drop these in the oil real quick and uh, I'm just gonna watch it while they fry. It should happen really quick. Cause this oil is hot. And like you need to take it off cause of the residual heat from the oil. We'll fry it, just stir it around a bit. It's a nice color to it. You don't want to burn it. So right when everything starts to turn like a little brownish, you know, put some color on it real quick, like. And then, uh, yeah, just take it out. And we're actually gonna reuse this oil for our, our steaks, our steak. So, boom. So now we got fried little pieces of garlic. Hopefully they, yeah, that's it. Let those cool on a little napkin real quick on a towel. All right. So everything's done for the most part. Everything's broken down. We have this broken down. Uh, I need a rosemary. That's fine. That's where that's at. Let's go back to chat. I missed something. Mag's food was trash. So I told her a dumbass to get out of the kit. Oh. All right, top. Cool. I can't argue with that. Uh, your mom and your aunt queen. Okay. What y'all gonna be cooking? This recipe come with paprika? It don't come with paprika. What we need paprika for? What we need paprika for, bruh? We don't need no paprika. Who put paprika on steak? I mean, I guess I could put paprika on the potatoes, but I don't want to. Oh yeah, this is it right here, boy. It ain't the same as the restaurant, but uh, all right. Oh, okay. This is nice. I like it. All right, Coca. Coco, go ahead, lurk. Lurk away. Does paprika have a taste or is it just for the color? Um, I, I, I'm not going to ask you. You can top. I think so. Paprika does have a taste. It gives like a, like a smoky flavor, but it also adds color. So if you want to add color to, your, to a dish real quick, uh, paprika is a really good way to do that. Uh, but smoked paprika is the wave, to be honest with you. All right, so everything's done, all the, everything's broken down, everything's ready, and so now we're gonna start cooking. So now I'm gonna turn, I have a cast iron. So you can do this in a cast iron or a stainless steel. You don't wanna use nonstick because you won't get a good sear. So turn my pan on, get it nice and preheated, and I wanna get this thing ripping hot. I mean like, I wanna look over here and just see smoke coming off this motherfucker. Like I want this thing hot, hot, hot. Hey, what's up, Trey? What's going on, man? 
Smoked paprika is fire. Uh, I've always wanted to have a blooming onion. You can make those at home. They have a little contraption where you can like break out the onion and then you can do the dip and then do that. Or you can just go to Outback and get a blooming onion in Outback. Bro, hickory salt be hitting too? Listen, um, there is, there's a, there's a Twitter, there's a Twitter account and a IG account, Chef and Wild Black. Um, it's run by some black chefs. One, I think one just moved to Atlanta. I think the other one's here in New York and they make all types of different salts and seasonings. Uh, I bought a sriracha salt from her, an all purpose salt, an all purpose rub, uh, a lime and rosemary salt. She has vanilla sugar. She has uh, like, I think like a berry salt or like a berry sugar. Like she got mad variations of like seasons, dog. And she be, check it out, uh, Chef and Wild Black. I don't remember if there's like any underscore or anything like that, but if you just look up Chef and Wild Black, you'll see it. Like that shit is bomb. How do you like your steak? I usually get yours well done. You get yours well done? Hold up, hen. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. Yo, where? Take, where's CBG right now? I didn't take your ass to homie court. You get your steaks well done? You a whole ass grown man, hen. You know what? It's probably because you five and a deuce. That's probably what it is. That's why you like it well done. You, you the five and a deuce. Yeah. I am too a well done steak eater. Listen, I'm gonna need y'all to I'm gonna need y'all to level up y'all steak game. But I, listen. Try tips are probably over. Well, yeah, well, this is a ribeye. Ain't no over like I'm gonna make this thing bad boy medium, medium rare to medium, somewhere in there. And like, yeah, no. I don't do anything past medium well if I have a choice. Meat if I order rest if I order steaks at a restaurant, it's medium rare. And by the time I get to my plate, to the table, it should be a, a medium. Uh, I don't do, I don't like, I don't even like medium well. I don't even like that. But, hen, well done steak? Yeah, if it ain't done, I can't eat it. Queen, you a well, you a done person too? You a well done person too, queen? Hate to see it. Ah, damn. I'm a, I was a well done truther until I moved out your mama house, see? Listen, there's nothing wrong with a well done steak. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. How, but what I will say is if it's well done, like you lose a lot of the juices and just like the tenderness of it. And then you're stuck chewing for a long time. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with having a steak with like a little bit of pink in the middle. Like it doesn't have to be like, a, like, See it on the outside and like totally raw on the inside. Like, you know, cook it through a little bit. Don't cook this shit all the way through. You want to retain some of that moisture, some of that tenderness, some of that steaky flavor. You want to keep that. And I feel like if you have a well done steak, it's usually pretty dry. And then you probably have to throw on like some type of sauce, whether it be Heinz, A1, or like a pan sauce. But no, nah, man, we're going to do that around here. Uh, I can't handle any weep on my plate. I made it my steak for no less than two, two days though. Uh, I counted my cooking. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, different strokes for different folks. Like, I don't knock people. Like, if I make steaks for people and they want one that's well done, I'm like, okay, cool. I'll make your steak and get out of here. And it, while I make that well done steak, I'll make like two more. But yeah, if you never had a medium steak, first, what I would suggest is if you never had a medium a medium to medium, medium, a medium steak, I think you should like go to a steakhouse, like a proper one, not like Outback, like an actual proper steakhouse and get their cut, like a ribeye or what, whatever, ribeye, porterhouse. You can even go with uh, a filet mignon if you're fancy and just have them do you a medium. And if you like it, you like it, boom. Uh, you could, or you can try to make it at home if you want, but I go to Longhorn usually, okay. Blank says, I like mine silver. I mean, I like my medium rare. Okay, shit. Story Mode Bay. Thank you for the host. What's happening? Welcome to my kitchen today. What's going on? You came at just the right time. I'm actually about to put the steak on the cast iron. So the, the reason why you want your pan riping hot is because you want to get a nice sear. It's a nice color. Um, so, you know, 
it look, it, for, it's a looks thing. It's an aesthetics thing, and also it does science about the Maillard reaction and like caramelizing the fats and the sugars. It also helped render off some of this fat. There's a, there's a lot of fat on the steak that I didn't cut off and render off because I don't care because I'm going to leave it on there. I like a nice juicy steak. So I know perfect timing. So the pipes, the, the pan's hot. We're going to use some of our garlic oil that we made earlier. Just get that in there. And then if the mic cuts out, I can see it. So our pan's really hot. And then this is what you want to hear when you put your steak in the pan. This is what you want to hear. You hear that music? That's what you want right there. Just listen. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And so we're gonna let this sit there. We're not gonna touch it. Klaus, thank you so much for the follow. I love that alert, man. <laughs> I love that goddamn alert. All right, so we're gonna leave this untouched for like a minute or two. Just to get a nice, a nice sear, some nice color. Um, yeah, that thing's sizzling. I, um, I wanna get an induction cooktop so I can cook right here instead of like having to go way over here and try to make sure I'm blocked out. I guess I should cook on this side so I could, damn. I already started cooking, but when I do the potatoes and stuff, I'm gonna move it to right here so I can, so I can block it out. But I'm gonna get an induction cooktop so I can sit it right here. And that way we can just cook, you know. I can get my, my fake binging with Babish on. I can just cook right here. And that way y'all can see that shit instead of me going way over here. But I mean, y'all still see it anyway. Yo, Babbage is my guy, man. Babbage is my guy. Uh, like, there's a lot of res there's a lot of things that he makes, and I was like, oh, that seems very easy. Like, honestly, Babbage is one of the reasons why I kind of started cooking more because I started watching him, and I was like, oh, that's simple. And then I was like, well, what can I like? What's simple enough that I could do to cook? And like, he has this whole like a basic series. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I was like, I've always wanted to make cookies, and so like, he has a lot of dope recipes. And he's in New York. Like one day, I hope to run into Babish in these streets. One day. Hey, hand, thanks for the bits, dog. Appreciate it. But Babish is fire. All right, so I'm just getting my tongs, and I'm just checking to see if the steak is ready to turn, and it is because it's moving. All right, we're just gonna flip it. And then um, I'm gonna sear the sides too. That thing sounds nice, don't it? All right, so while that's going, I'm gonna get the butter ready because I'm gonna give it like a butter base in a little bit. Uh, I messed with the Sam, with Sam the cooking guy. I don't know who that is. You trying to sing a white male him? What? No, nah, I'm just saying. I just want to see Babbage. Like, yo, my man, you inspired me to be a better cook. That's all. So this is unsalted butter. And we're going to do about, I think that's like a tablespoon, give or take. It's going to get that ready. And so when I'm ready, I'm going to baste the steak. And so now I'm going to turn the steak on the side to sear the ends and run down that fat cap. Because it's a really big fat cap. Actually, it's a huge fat cap, too. No. All right. All right, boom. Steak seared. We're going to drop in the butter. We're going to drop in our garlic. And then we're going to drop in a thing of thyme, just one, that's fine. Just throw it in the butter. 
right? He's on YouTube. I post some link in your Discord. All right, top. And then I like the I like the steak to have like a little rosemary, like you know, you know why not, right? So I get like the smallest one, the smallest sprig of of rosemary. Throw that in there. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna get you a spoon, and you're just gonna baste the steak with the sauce, with the little, with the butter and garlic. That's hot. Shit. Come on. And you're just gonna baste it. Now you can do this without the rosemary if you want. It's personal preference. Get the garlic, rub the garlic on there real quick, like real nice. And then, just to make sure we get even color. Oh, she's almost ready. That was fast. All right. What am I doing? Do, 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 do. Y'all wanna see something pretty? Hold on. So the thing with steak dinners, they cook really quick. They can. I just wanna run down some of this fat cap a little bit more. I turned the heat off, cause I'm about to change the side so that I'm gonna put this, this pan. And plus I'm about to take this over here and put it on a, let it rest for a little bit. So, what's that? No. All right. So, I mean, y'all can't really see it. Hey, what's up, Father Nick? What's going on, man? So, this is the steak. This is it right here. Make sure I ain't burning my, my thing. All right, we good. That sizzling, yeah, this is music right here, baby. Got that fat cap running down. Got a nice color on it. We're almost, we're close to medium well, to medium. But I'm gonna take this out. And it's left its rest here on the on the bench, on the workspace. We're gonna leave everything in the pan, right? Everything that was in there, the butter, the garlic, the rosemary, all that stuff. We're gonna leave that there. Let that pan get a little bit hot or hotter. And so now we're gonna take our garlic and our shallots and throw that in the pan, along with all that beautiful steak, steak juice, garlic, butter. Right? Let's throw it in there. Now, I just want to let y'all know, this is not a recipe. Destiny Rosalie. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to my kitchen. All right, so boom. Like I said, this isn't a recipe. This is stump, like I'm literally, I wanted to make steak and potatoes and this is how I would make it if I was just for myself. So, yep, you could throw it in with the fond. There's really not that much fond though, because, you know, there's not. And so what I'm gonna do with the potatoes, just gonna just take the palm of my hand and just like flatten them. And just like crack them open a bit. And then I'm gonna take that over to the pan and drop them in the oil. You just wanna smash them. You don't wanna, I should've did this earlier. Damn, you know, this would let you know if you're strong or not, to be honest with you, because like, nigga, this shit hard. I'm struggling. I could have did more than, than 10 though, but I'd be all right. Man, fuck these goddamn potatoes. You know what, fuck it. I ain't got time for this. 
So we're gonna just half them, right? I'm just gonna just half these. Eh, back I'm just gonna half them. All right. So you're gonna put these in first and the asparagus afterwards because the asparagus will cook quicker. All right, so boom. Throw our potatoes in there. Salt and pepper. All right. And then we just let this work. We'll let that cook down for a little bit until they're nice and done. Fresh ground pepper is a hit. Hey man, listen. I don't know what I was doing in my life before fresh the ground pepper, but I love fresh ground pepper. And then Whole Foods has like Vietnamese peppercorns which I don't know what the difference is, but I bought some one time. And I was like, oh, this shit is delicious. But it tastes like regular ass popcorn to me. But, you know, shit. All right, so the steak's gonna rest while everything cooks. Let's clean up our workspace, All right? A clean kitchen is a safe kitchen. I think that's a, I think that's a saying, right? Clean kitchen, safe kitchen. That sounds right anyway. Let's wrap up this other steak because I'm not making it today. Although I probably should, but I'm not. Put this in the fridge for later. Boom. All right. Look at our steak. Look, it's, just, it's resting. It's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful, guys. Do you make desserts? Hey, chat. Somebody, somebody help Hand out, man. Let, let Hand know. Let him know. Do I make desserts? Do I make desserts? Bruh, bruh. Yeah, no, I make desserts. Uh, brownie, cinnamon rolls, ice cream, cookies, cake, whatever, man. I make all that shit. If I can make, if I can, if it can be made from scratch and it's not dumb complicated, I could probably make it. Uh, but I plan on making more stuff later. Made them brownies, ain't tell nobody. My bad, queen. My bad. So you just want to clean the potatoes so they're, so they're done and so they're fork tender. Um, it might take a little while, but while that's going, I'm gonna salt, I'm gonna season my asparagus. You know, I'm gonna season the asparagus when it gets in the oil because there's no point, fuck it. But, um, but yeah. But yeah, you know, I cook, so I think this month, if my daughter is willing, we're gonna make, her and I together, we're gonna make cheesecake. So we're making cheesecake this month. Again, if she's, if she's down to participate. You know how kids can be, you know? She might need to get here and we just play Fortnite all fucking day, you know, so shit. It might just be me next time, but, all right. The one thing I don't, like, I don't like about cast iron is that the handle gets hot. I kind of hate that. If you have some burnt garlic in here, don't worry about it. It's okay. It is okay. All right, now I'm gonna throw the asparagus on the other side. Cheesecake fam, cheesecake. Dropping our asparagus. Salt and pepper. And then boom. And then we're gonna just sit there and then once that's done, we're good to go. Put a plate. And we're gonna do it done with that. Get this off the way, all right. I feel like I should, I feel like this pan needs more butter. You know? Um, I try to avoid it, I just wanna eat the whole thing. 
with the two million calories. Cheesecake is very fatty and it's high in, it's high in calories, but it's so good, man. It's so good. Like who don't like cheesecake? Like cheesecake is delicious. Tanisha said, get the glove. Lodge on Amazon should have them. What? Oh, the glove, got you. Yeah, I'm gonna get them. Oh shit, you would, you would, uh, you over there chilling right now with Miss Miss Poe? Tell her I said what's up. Why she don't have a cooking show? I think I think I made cheesecake. I've made cheesecake a few times. Um, the last time I made cheesecake, it was a chocolate chip cookie as the crust, and it's like the regular New York style cheesecake. I really want to cut the steak open. I really do. So bad. So bad. But I'm not. I'm trying to hold off. I'm trying to hold off. Um, yep. She said hello. What's up, man? Uh, I recently had Sierra the Sioux Cheesecake from Junior's. I wanted to cut anyone that, that looked at it. I never, um, have I had, I never, have I eaten at Junior's before? I've never eaten at Junior's. Although there, when I was living in Jersey, there was like a Junior's like bakery nearby. And so like I would go to the cheesecake, but I've never actually sat inside of Junior's and ate at Junior's. Hold up, weren't you supposed to have a guest for this episode? No top, I'm not supposed to have a guest for this episode. This is a cook along. I'm supposed to be cooking along at home. That's what this is. The guest is later at the end of the month when my daughter gets here. Uh, it's way too pricey, but it's worth it. I mean, I feel it. I had tiramisu one time, and that shit was bomb. I want to learn how to make tiramisu one day. One day. Oh, the asparagus is done already. Yay. I mean, I think the potatoes are fine. That's fine. But, yeah. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if I cook this steak properly. Let's see, let's find out. We're gonna get rid of the fat cap. All right? Let's see. Let's move that out the way. Oh, that's. Oh, that's beautiful right there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Come on, man. I know y'all see it. I know y'all see it. Come on. Come on. Warrior, thanks so much for the follow. It took me a minute to get jiggy with the coffee in it, but yeah, yeah. Great job. Hey, thank you guys. You know, I'll be throwing down. All right, let's see if I can get this plating down though. All right, let's see. How are we gonna plate? I wasn't just put it on the board, but I was like, nah, that's too ghetto. I mean, it's not good. I just don't want to put all this on the board. So the potatoes have, you know, got a nice little color to them. You know, all the garlic and shallot burnt, but it's okay. That's what happens.
All right, boom, everything's out. Are you gonna garnish it? I mean, I ain't got no parsley. Betty, what's happening? Where's your plate? I mean, you, you can have this one right here. You can come have this one. What's up, baby? How you doing today? I need some motherfucking parsley. That's what I need. I need some parsley. It's not a dish without parsley, right? Or so they say. All right. Let's see. How are we going to do it? You know what? I kind of like that because it's already set up. Already set up. Just fan it out like that a little bit. Right? A little bit. Ooh. Ooh. And then we're gonna take some of our fried garlic, right? And we're just gonna just like just put that over top. Right? Throw it on the potatoes real quick. Quick like. Boom boom. Oh, that's listen. Li listen. Hold up. Boom, that's it. Steak and potatoes. The drunk Buddha. Come on. And asparagus. Forgot the asparagus. Bye y'all. Bye y'all. I gotta do it for the gram though. What's up, Miss Vengeance? What's going on? Let me, let me do this for the gram real quick, like. I want to do it in portrait mode. I'll do another one. Wow. This plate would definitely get the draw. <laughs> hey, you wild, man. I mean, it might. Shit, it might. It might. You got a portable mic? Hey, you know. I had, to, I, had to, I had to level up. I had to level up. I didn't like the I didn't like the audio quality with the with the blue yeti in the kitchen. So I had to level up. You know what I'm saying? All right. So this is just I'm gonna let y'all just this is just for y'all. I'm gonna fuck up this piece right here. This all nice and fatty and shit. Love this shit right here. Man. So shit. Since we in here and the food and the cooking part is done, I guess we just chilling now. And having a nice little chit chat. So what's up? Y'all got any questions? Y'all want to know shit about me? What's good? What's up? Pull up on me. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up on me. I need to get that alert. I feel like watching Food Network. Pika, what's happening? I don't eat red meat, but it look good. Hey, you know what? I cook chicken. I cook fish. I cook everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything gets cooked in this house. Made them cook. Hey, you know. Hold on a little bit. This shit good as hell. I might have to turn the camera off of this shit. This is about to be X-rated. I'm about to be faded. X-rated, I did be. How many do you do cooking streams? Um, so I'm trying to do twice a month. So last month I did twice a month. I'm gonna do one more this month. Uh, the next one will be with my daughter at the end of the month. We're doing cheesecake. And then um, I'm gonna see if I can do two a, two a month. Eventually I'm gonna get to the point where I can do one a week. But uh, that's that's a less, less later down the line. Pair with a nice red wine. Hold up. What we got? Hold up. Ah, let me see. What's, uh, what's this one? Bold and spicy? No, we with bold and spicy. What we got? Yeah, they both bold and spicy. And, you know, I, fuck it. I ain't a wine motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we got options. But if you want to be real, you gonna be real. Damn, I ain't got no, I ain't got no, uh, like, I usually pair all my meals with some whiskey or some scotch. So, you know, we got options. We got options, you feel me? I got options. But, my liquor, my liquor stuff is running kind of low though, so I need to re-up. But we got options though. You got some hen? I got a, I got a small deuce. I got, a, this, this is for uh, Invincible right here. I call this the, the five do special. That's what this is. The five do special. 
Scotch? Yeah, Pico. I be in here drinking. I make my own shit. So not, not only do I cook, I make my own liquor. This is honey mead right here. You feel me? I be doing it up. Honestly, I just get really bored and I like to take that boredom and just like put it in the kitchen because I could because you can make stuff and you can eat and then you can be happy. So when I'm bored, I like I'll find something that I want to make with what I have on hand or I'll go buy it. But you know, shit. You make me, hell yeah, I made me, bruh. I be listen, I be in here fucking around. You be doing dumb shit. I be making dumb shit. Black folks gotta stop pretending that Henny tastes good. Henny, I like I enjoy Henny. It's not my go-to drink. It used to be, but I grew up, got out of it. I don't do I can't do shots of Henny. I can drink it in like apple juice, ginger ale. No, I'm sorry, apple juice, coke, ginger ale. But I can't do shots of Henny. Captain Trips, he does shots of Henny. Fuck that. I'm not doing shots of Henny. Fam, I'll send you some bread for some meat. Hey, I, I need to make another batch. Um, but I will warn you, Hen, I don't, I don't skip out on ingredients. The honey that I use for this, I got from Harlem. Like, there's a, there's a beekeeper in the city that has, like, bee shits, like hives or whatever, throughout the boroughs. And so, to get enough honey for that shit was like $130, $140. So, if you want to chip in, let me know. Or I can just go to the store and grab the cheap shit, and then we can just see what happens. I don't skimp on ingredients, dog. I'm a bougie nigga. So many better liquor, like so many better, so many better liquor choices out there in Hen. Hen White's really good. Hen Vincible, you are not the brand manager for Hen Hennessy, dog. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to like to like stuff that nobody else likes. It's all right. You're not the brand ambassador, dog. I prefer Jameson these days. Hi, I'm from France. Oh shit, bonjour. What's going on, uh, Millicine? What's going on? What's happening? Do you really, do you make yours really sweet? Uh, the mead, it's my first time making it. it it's not that sweet. It's, uh, it's on the dry side. It's like a dry, it's dry with like a hint of sweet. It will fuck you up though. I drank a whole bottle one day on stream. It will fuck you up. We know you bougie, look at this mic. First of all, this mic cost me less than $100, all right? I ain't that bougie. I'm just cheap as shit. I actually got it for free because I, uh, I had some Amazon points. I prefer Jameson. I got Jameson in the Globe. It's empty right now, but I got Jameson in there. I never had Hennessy. Try don't don't have Hennessy, man. You don't need Hennessy in your life. Just just let it go. Let it go. Um, I, gin is okay. I like gin, but not very often. Like. I'll have gin every once in a while. Like my go-to is not gin. My go-to is either the scotch or whiskey. Whiskey is great, as is rum. Listen, some Rand Nephews Jamaican rum. Mm. I do some things with that shit, boy. Woo. Anyway, uh, also I found out that Rand Nephews rum goes really great with Four C's peach tea. Listen, if I ever throw like a kickback in my crib, and y'all somebody bring, matter of fact, I think I might have a kickback in my crib one day. One day we all get together, have a kickback at the crib, make some food, make some drinks, just have a good time. But uh, Peach Tea and Ray and Nephew, <sighs> listen, fuck that shit up. Word, Pico, word. I'm telling you, shit's heaven. My brother-in-law only drinks Buffalo Trace. What the fuck is that? I'm coming through. You go, oh shit, come through, man. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Listen, I be loving, I be drinking my ass off. I had to stop though. I had to stop. All right, but scotch for the old white businessman. I don't care. Listen, don't knock it till you try it. It takes a, it's a refined palate to truly appreciate a nice a nice scotch. And also, it's the same price as a mixed drink at the club. So I just get my shit neat and I'll call it a day. Former bartender. I mean, it it takes a while. It grows on you. I'm not gonna lie, it grows on you. Whiskey, but that shit tough. It depends what whiskey you get, right? I mean, it depends. It's just like gasoline. 
All right, you just being a little excessive right now. I don't need this kind of slander of whiskey. All right, we don't we don't take that in my kitchen. All right, we don't take it. This shit. Let me taste the potatoes real quick. Hold up, I'm gonna fork out. So, what we have is we have a ribeye, it's a nice medium, asparagus, two of these potatoes hit on. Nigga, this goddamn that shit right there. I impressed myself. I don't know. It's good though. It's good as shit. I recently tried some uh, Lost Souls Navy Rum. Doesn't even pass that shit through. It tastes like oak and death in a good way. Nah, but I feel like men typically like scotch more than women, honestly. I mean, I think you're probably right. There's not a, there's, there are, there are very few women that I've met that will like drink Jameson with me. There's a few, there's like a, a select few. They're rare, but I don't, I mean, I think, I don't know. Like you can't look cute drinking a whiskey though. Like I think that's what it is. Like it's just the appearances. I don't know. I don't know. You love asparagus? I mean, well, shit. I kind of cook these too too much, but let's see what they let's see what these hitting on too. Shit. Oh yeah, that's it. That's right. Oh yeah, that's it. Listen, asparagus is delicious. I came back to whiskey, y'all. Yeah, you know, whiskey talk. Listen, I'm all for. I'm all for liquors, but a food, we do whatever here. Jameson is fire. I'm talking scotch scotch, like Glenn Levitt. Ugh. Yeah, some of that shit be like, ugh. Ugh. There's um there was one there was one scotch I had. And like that shit was like so peaty and like it was just so it was it was so smoky, like I just couldn't even take that shit. Like it was too much. But I had to drink it because I paid for it. But I mean, it take you gotta find. It takes you a while to find the scotch that's for you, you know. So this is good. All right. Um, what time is it? That's a short. I knew this was gonna be a short stream because it's steak. Let's see what else we got. What else can I make real quick? That's really it. I would show y'all how to reverse sear a steak, but I don't need to have two steaks. To have another episode. Shit. But I really appreciate y'all showing up. I'm really sorry it's a short stream. Make a cocktail. Nigga. That's it. That's what you get. Boom. I'm fucking with you. Can you make mead on stream, or is it, or is it, or is it that bootleg? Um, I can make mead on stream. Uh, it's not like it's not a very professional setup. The way I did it, the way I've done it, it's really crude, and like literally like DIY. But I mean, I can totally, I can totally go through the process to make mead one day. Um, so yeah, we can totally do it. We can make mead. Um. So yeah, if I, so what I'll probably do is if I make that if I make the mead, and then I'll probably just give those bottles away. Oh no, it's legal. Oh, it's legal. It's, it's legal. It's uh, you can do it. Yeah, it's legal. You can make it. You know, like there's 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 more accurate ways to make it, more professional ways. Like you have to get like, they have these five gallon buckets that with that ha that you can use for with a spout, um, with a little hydrometer so you can see what the sugar levels is so you can determine how alcoholic it's gonna be. Me. Being the guy that I am, because it was my first time, I got two gallon, two one gallon jugs of water, some raisins, some wine yeast, and some honey. Mix all that shit together, shook it up, got a got a balloon, put some holes in it, put it as the top, and just let that shit sit in my cabinet for like six weeks, and that was it. But yeah, I can totally, I can totally stream. It's easy. Home brewing commu uh, communities be huge. It's very legal. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't think you can sell it. You can give it away. No, I think, mm, I don't think you can sell it. I wouldn't sell it. I would give it away. But if I made some on stream, I'd give it away. 
if somebody was like, if you are a local, I'll totally just give it away. I think bootlegging is like you make moonshine. That's just illegal. Or um, I don't know what bootlegging is. You gonna make me pull up? Cause I wanna help make the mead. Hey man, shit, come through. How long does this meal take to cook top? Shit, let's see. 10 minutes cause of pre-roll. So we've been streaming for like an hour and 20. So hour and 10. So uh, if you just did it, like you just let laser focus, It'll probably take you, including prep time, about 45 minutes, give or take. The longest part is the potato, like is cooking the potatoes. Like, but if you cook the potatoes as you were cooking the steak, I mean, you totally could, you totally could do that. It'll cut down on the time, but you know, if you just do the steak and asparagus, it's like, it's real quick. And so while the steak's resting, you can do the asparagus and the asparagus cooks like in three to five minutes. The legal, um, the illegal manufacturing, distribution or sale of goods, especially alcohol, or recordings oh well then yeah um, I'm not selling anything so we're good we're good you know it's not that bad like I knew it was gonna be a quick stream simply because it's steak and yeah it was very simple I guess I should have thought of like made a dessert yeah so we can't sell it but you know if I make the meat and then boom can I what else can I make that's really quick I like, how to make a dessert let me see hold on let's see what I got let's see what I got Nope. Nope, I got nothing. I got nothing, sorry. Um, I needed to know before I tried making some shit. And I'm finna have the ops on me. <laughs> nah, you fine. You fine, it was fine. Like the only, the only thing for, for me when I, when I was making mead was waiting. Because you literally make it one day and then you just like let it like forget it for like six weeks. And then once you once after it's done and it's done fermenting, you have to rack it and put it in the bottles. So like I have I have a bag of corks of corkscrews of uh, cork tops. Like I got a whole bag of corks and um, I have a cork plunger. And so I think I sat here one day and I poured everything off. I made like eight bottles. Was it eight bottles? Like six bottles. Hey, Hatrick, man. Thank you so much for the host, man. Welcome. What were you, uh, how was your stream? Um, and what were you streaming? Wait, 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 what, what? Make me, um, make some Auntie Fifi jail food? Jail food? You... Todd, what are you doing, bro? I ain't never been to jail. I don't know what they be making. You gotta relax. So, what is the best whiskey that isn't dumb harsh? Okay, but you look nice in the apron. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm gonna get another one. Um, I'm gonna get a black one, because this one makes me feel like I'm doing, like I work at Home Depot. So, I'm gonna get a black one, and then when my logo is done, I'm gonna get the logo right across, right across the top. So. Uh, what's a, what's a whiskey that's not harsh? I mean, okay. So a whiskey that's not harsh that will do, that, that should sell you okay. Uh, I'll give you two, right? They're empty because I need to, I need to get up. I need to re-up. I'll give you two, right? So if you don't want something that's really harsh, Hey man, I don't know Phil. Thanks for that follow, appreciate it. Uh, sorry, it popped out for me a second. It's all cool, hat trick, man, it's all good, man. I like this song, it's so nice. Um, <laughs> hey man, thanks for the follow, everybody. So, uh, what was it? All right, so. Hi, I'm K Kasich. Thanks for the follow. Ah, damn. Oh, they're just doing that shit for the alerts. Fuck y'all. What's up, Steel? What's happening? Uh, Shoot some God of War? Nice, nice.
Whenever, whenever y'all done. Whenever, you, whenever y'all done. Whenever y'all done. We good? God damn it. <laughs> All right. There's one more. There's one more coming. There's one more coming. There it is, right there. I gotta dance now? I don't wanna dance. Just. All right, um, all right, what was I saying? Fuck it. Just never give y'all niggas that alert. God ah, damn. All right, thanks for the follows, everybody. So, hand it. God damn it. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up? <laughs> what's up, Brand? I want to dance. I'm trying to tell Hand about the about the whiskeys. Thanks so much for the help. God damn it! Booty bitches, big, big booty bitches. Listen, all right, I swear to God, Hen, what do you need to do? These are by far the two, personally, like the, the whiskeys that are, aren't harsh for me. I'm grabbing honey, honey Jack for the next pot. Honey Jack's a good one too, Honey Jack's a good one. Um, but this is Bain's, uh, what is this? Bain's Cape Mountain Whiskey from South Africa. It's really smooth for me, it's not that harsh. Uh, it has a great flavor, right? And then Four Roses Small Batch is actually really sweet. It has, it's, it's, it's not harsh, it has like caramel notes to it. And so I think these two would be good. If you can find Baines, go for it. Uh, but you should be able to find Four Roses at any like liquor store. Baines is kind of more, uh, you, you gotta have a market for it, so. So yeah, Four Roses, the small batch has like caramel notes to it. It's, it almost tastes like like the like the sugar from creme brulee. Kind of has that on the on the back end of it. Uh, Baines is is kind of spicy, but it's not too harsh. It's not it's not smoke. It's it's, it's more spice and, and less smoke. You know, no peat. It's, it's 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 pretty good. It's a clean it's a clean it's a clean it's a clean flavor. Um, by the time the big booty bitches stop dancing, the food gonna be cold. Yeah, and this, I'm about to bounce out, so I eat this shit. But, um, yeah. So those are good options, but Honey Jack is a good one too. Um, I like my Honey Jack with ginger ale, but you can have it with Coke. But I find that since it's already sweet, adding it to Coke is just like too much sweetness. So Honey, for me, the ideal, my, I use Honey Jack and green tea ginger ale. Actually, all the ginger ales I drink with my whiskeys is green tea. I don't know why, it just has a nice little, nice little flavor to it. But, maybe like for a sec. It's cool, hat trick. We're back. I'm, rap, I'm trying to wrap up, but we'll see how that goes. Because I'm not going to eat on it. I guess I could eat it. That'd be weird, though. Let me just do Honey Jack and Mountain Dew. Damn, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, dog? Hopefully, I don't sound like a know it all ass nigga, though. I'm just. I'm just uh, hating on stuff jokingly. No, you don't, no, you you could. Listen, I understand. This I, I like this banter. I like this. I like this. What we got going on here? I like this. Um, hey, biscuit, what's going on? Green tea ginger ale. You really fit. What you mean? You grab it from the store. Just go to Total Bodega or to the market. It just go to the soda aisle and it's green tea ginger ale. It's green tea sparkling ginger ale. It's made by. Um, it's not Canada Dry, it's the other company. Schweppes? Is it Schweppes? I don't know. Um, the cooking's going good, Biscuit. It's actually done. It's just, I'm waiting to eat it. So we're just having a chat here. We're just having a little chat, chit chat. Um, wait, man, green tea ginger ale? Yes. Y'all been sleeping on green? I don't have any right now. I'm gonna go buy some and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put it on Twitter. Green tea ginger ale is the way. I'm in New York. Um, so, it's, I know it's in New York, it's in Philly. 
You can find it. Uh, you can find it in the in like in the in like in the South too. You just have to go look for it. It's delicious. Chicago just got the ginger ale lemonade. Ginger ale lemonade. I don't know about that shit. Listen, look. Just just go to Amazon or just Google green tea ginger ale, and then like you'll find it. I'm get, I listen. It is. It's crisp. It's refreshing. And it goes perfect with 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 whiskey. It's the best, the best. No, nah, it slaps. I believe it. I don't know. But I don't know. Like, what is that? Ginger ale and green and lemonade don't even sound like a go together. But nor does green tea and ginger ale. So I guess it works. If it works, it works. I haven't seen it, so taking notes because uh, I need. Listen, it's so good. And then the the really the. The great thing is, or the bad thing for me is I can't find the cans. I can only find the small 12 ounce bottle or the liters. Like I cannot find the cans. I prefer the cans because it's a fucking can, but I'll be, I'm pissed. Do you live in the city or upstate? I've never seen it in the city. I live in the city, like in the heart of fucking Manhattan. It's in the city. You can find it. I find it at the bodega. I find it, uh, Sometimes Dwayne Reed has it, sometimes, but it's usually at the bodega or like the grocery store, like the local grocery store. I haven't checked, I haven't looked at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's for it. But if you have like a Sea Town in the city or whatever burger you're in, um, it should be in Sea Town. Just look for it. It's here. Trust me. It's fucking here. Yeah, keep an eye out. You're in Tribeca, and then so it's definitely there. Trust me. Because I bought, I bought some at work. I work near Tribeca roundabouts um, and so yeah it's there trust me it's just look just go to the next time you just look at the soda uh, at the soda thing and just look for the ginger ales and then you'll see it. it it blends right in but it's like a green label and it says like sparkling green tea that's what you want sparkling green tea ginger ale it's so good about to go buy a bottle right now but all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am sad to say, but our time has also it's qualified enough. Thanks for being in chat. How you doing? It's my first time seeing you here. Welcome. Sorry I have to end the chat, end the stream, because I have to eat this wonderful meal. Um, it's upside down. Yeah, it's fine. Anyway, um, our time together has been great. Thank you for inviting me into your home as I cook this delicious meal that you guys cannot eat, but I will tell you all about it later. Um, but thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for all the follows, for the raids, for the hosts, for the bits, for the conversations. Uh, looking forward to more cooking streams. Have a good rest of your day, love. See you too, Pika. Thank you for stopping by. I really, I really like these, like these cooking sessions. I like them because it gets, you get to know me more than just like the gamer and like the guy that's drunk and saying wild shit on people's podcasts um am i coming back today to stream maybe it depends what happens for the rest of the day my day is pretty open um but if something happens then probably not but i may be lurking in chat later on in some of your chats today uh, i don't know if i'm gonna stream today i need a day off i need a break uh surprisingly like cooking takes out takes a lot of energy it's like the cook and like on camera, it's weird. I get really tired. Um, but uh, yeah, hand pop the Discord right there. So if you want to ch ch hang out, chit chat with me outside of stream, hop in the Discord. Uh, I'm in there like every day, telling everybody good morning. You know what I'm saying? Throwing some food pictures in there. I might throw like an inspirational quote here or there. Uh, hit the Discord. Um, but I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It, it means a lot uh, just to share my love of cooking and for food because it's fucking amazing. Um, I'll see you all. Are we cooking again this month towards the end of the month? I'll let you guys know. It's going to be cheesecake unless my kid wants to do some other shit like cake, like a regular cake. But I wouldn't do cheesecake because it's fucking cheesecake. Um, and then what else? Strawberry milkshake was happening. You, I'm hungry. You arrived right on time. I mean, I don't know if you arrived right on time, but uh, I mean, if you if you want a plate, by all means, come get it. And then um, what else? I don't know. Shout out to you for being awesome, man. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys later. I'm going to enjoy this meal. I'll talk about it. I'll tweet about it. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully she's down for cheesecake. Listen, my kid, I said, I asked her, I was like, Hey, do you want to be on, on, you want to stream with me? She's like, yeah, 
I was like, do you want to make cheesecake? And she was like, sure. And so that sure didn't feel very enthused. And I have a very strong inkling that she's gonna come and like, just like walk around and like, just, and just like, like, oh, okay. And just like, just go off camera and just chill in the background. So, take it easy, Buddha. Hey, you know, y'all take, y'all have a great day. Enjoy the weather, go outside today, do something different. Uh, if you haven't had a medium steak before, today is a great day to go out to a restaurant and teach yourself to a nice steak dinner. Make sure, it's me make sure you order it medium, medium uh, rare so it gets to your table and it's medium. So for those of you who've eaten well done steaks your entire life, today's a good day to change that. Trust me, it will change your life. Uh, why did I make interactive TVs? I mean, how much more interactive you wanna get, Strawberry? This is interactive. We're interacting, this is it. I don't want you reaching in here and taking food off my plate. That's a no-no. But I mean, this is pretty interactive. If you want to put me in your TV, hey man, more power to you. But let's see where I can send all this love and support. I gotta move this stuff out the way. Just, mm, yeah, let's do this. That's my fork. Let's clean up our workspace. A clean workspace is a health, is a safe workspace, or some shit like that. I don't know. And then we're gonna slide over my little keyboard out, and my little mouse, so I can make this happen. Oh, you made, I made you dinner? Hey, what's up, Danny? What's up? Uh, you know, Danny, you know, I, I got you. Whenever, you, whenever you're ready, it's, it'll be right here waiting for you. Uh, I made, this is steak, uh, I guess I can put it back in the frame. It's steak, potatoes, and asparagus. It's a nice ribeye. Right, some nice small little golden medley potatoes and some asparagus. I'm doing pretty good. Just got home. Okay, I'm sad to miss it. It's all right, it's all good. There'll be other ones, there'll be more. Because I'm pretty sure I'm, when I, there's, so there's things I wanna do for the stream. Like I wanna be able to invite people into my kitchen and like cook with people. So like if you're in the city and you're a content creator and like we're really cool and we're buddies and I trust you, I'll let you into my kitchen and then we can stream and then we can cook together, like a tag team, like a duo, right? You know, and then we can make we can make delicious meals together, and then you get the per you get to eat it, and that's what I want to do at one point. Eventually, that's what I'll get to doing. And so, uh, is this mukbang? No, this is not. This is not what that is. Uh, Pinch Penny. Uh, we made yeah, steak potatoes. Welcome. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for dropping in, Pinch Penny. Uh, Space mongoose. Queen. Can I dial in? Nah, you can't dial in, man. You gotta be here. You gotta be here physically. Physically. Dude's cooking stream at, um, cooking stream at TwitchCon. Ooh. Uh, I gotta think about that. Maybe. Maybe. Mainly because I don't know what the kitchen's gonna be like at the Airbnb, right? So, I don't know. But at TwitchCon, I'm supposed to be making treats uh, just like regular cookies and brownies. I'm supposed to be making those at TwitchCon. So I'm, so if you see me at TwitchCon and I pass around stuff, that's your chance to get it. Um, but again, I have to see what the kitchen is like when I get to the Airbnb, like what they have, what kind of pans and all this good stuff, and then we'll go from there. Uh, thoughts on Brexit? Uh, I'm not from the UK, lad. I don't know if you can tell by my accent, but uh, I'm not from the UK. I don't have any thoughts on Brexit. That's, that's not my, uh, it's not for me. I mean, whatever, whatever they want to do over there, that's apparently people voted for it and they wanted it. So uh, it's not, that's not my thing. Uh, yeah, maybe one day we can cook together, brother. I run a food truck and you run a food truck. Hey, uh, Pinch Penny, can you, can we need to link up? We need to chat about this food truck. I like food trucks. Is it a good food truck? Uh, this isn't rum in your cup. Put it down. This is a, uh, it's not rum. It's a, uh, what is this? It's scotch, the scotch whiskey. We gotta do the live pod at TwitchCon. Oh yeah, you know we're gonna do it here. We're gonna get it up. You're making ceviche for everyone at the Airbnb at that point? Hat trick making ceviche. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna send you an idea your way. Okay, cool, bet. Send it, Danny. Send it. All right. Let me pull up and see who's uh who's live right now. 
Where we can send this love and all this. Nope. Be quiet. No, mute, man. Chill. Don't you hate that shit when that happens? Nope. Mute. Got it. All right. Let's see. Who's online? Do 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 My guy's a dope chef. I, no, 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 no. I'm not a chef. Don't call me a chef. I'm not a chef. I didn't earn that title. I don't deserve that title. I'm just a regular ass nigga that likes cooking. I'm a home cook, not a chef. Don't throw that around. I don't want that title. I don't deserve it. I'm a chef. I'm not, damn it. I'm a cook. I'm a goddamn cook, I'm not a chef. I'm a cook. I'm a cook. Uh, Y'all got a burger and waffle food truck, my dude. Uh, that sounds chill, but then I love to serve you when you're. Bro, I live in New York. Where your food truck at, bro? I'll pull up right now. I'll pull up right now, my dude. Where your food truck at? I'll pull up right now. Man, say you got burgers and waffles. First of all, burgers and waffles, that's like a weird combination. He's a drunken Buddha. Something like that, Space Mongoose. Something like that. Um, you know what? I'm going to say all of this to somebody else who cooks. Um, pleasantly Twisted. She cooks sometimes. She's not cooking right now. She's playing. What is she playing? She's playing Sundered, but that's what I'm gonna send y'all. So, I gotta start with that. Yeah, man. So yeah, Pinch Penny. Hey, what, matter of fact, Pinch Penny, what's, your, what's the name of your food truck? Like, what's up, where we need to go? If we're in New York City, and we wanna get burgers and a waffle, or, ooh, a waffle burger, right? You take the waffles, that's your bun, and then you put the burger, this in. If you don't do that, Pinch Penny, we got a problem. You can call it the Buddha. Make you a steak burger with waffles and call it the Buddha. I fuck with that. I be there every day. All right. Uh, you gonna suss that part? A waffle burger sounds disgusting. Space mongoose. Hey man, listen. Somebody said the same thing about chicken and waffles, and that's just amazing. So well, I'm not gonna try it. Exactly. All right. So let's get the raid going. I hate when I can't spell nobody's name. Nope. Damn, I can't spell for shit today. There you go. All right. Nope. God damn it. God damn it. You know what? I'm going to do this. All right. Uh, can I be interviewed on Discord? Does the chat food trucks my... I mean, we talk about it. We'll figure it out. We'll work it out, man. Listen, we got plenty of time, Pen, uh, Pitch Penny. We'll chat. Yeah, join the Discord. And then we can talk it out, man. We can work out the details and all the kinks. And we figure it out, man. We can link up. It's shit. We might, you know, we get it on. That's not an excuse. So am I? Listen. Um, all right. So we're about to fire off this raid. I want to thank everybody for stopping by today. I really appreciate it for letting me into your into your home, whether it's your phone, your laptop, your kitchen, wherever you're at. Thank you for letting me be in your in your space for the, you know for this two hours. I really appreciate it. Um, talk us through the stuff on your window ledge. Um, so this is just like empty containers. Uh, this is the collector's edition for the whiskey for the uh, the house Stark, right? Then this is just another container for the whiskey from my Scottish bar, my Scottish whiskey that I had imported from Scotland. That's it. And then it's just like air freshener and like Gorilla Glue. That's nothing crazy, but listen, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys. I'll see you gaming wise Monday and then I'll see you cooking wise at the end of the month. So I really appreciate it. Yo, who we rating? Um, 
yeah we're raiding pleasantly twisted and that's the raid 